There are two types of true plants in the plant kingdom. They include non-vascular plants and vascular plants. Non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants are referred to as simple plants or lower plants and they are more primitive compared to vascular plants. Non-vascular plants do not contain a vascular system, meaning they lack vascular tissues that transports water, minerals, and sugars throughout the plant. Non-vascular plants absorb water and food directly from the environment through their bodies like a sponge. For this reason, they are often found in cool, moist, and shady areas, however, they can also be found in arid environments, such as deserts. Non-vascular plants do not have true roots, stems, or leaves with vascular tissues. Instead, they have root, leaf, and stem-like structures. Instead of roots, non-vascular plants have rhizoids, which are root-like or hair-like structures that they use to anchor onto substrates, such as rocks, trees, logs, soil, and other surfaces. Rhizoids also help to absorb water and nutrients. Since non-vascular plants lack xylem and phloem, which provide structural support and rigidity to the plant, and they lack true leaves, stems, and roots, non-vascular plants are small in size and simple in form. Non-vascular plants are herbaceous, meaning they do not grow wood, and they do not produce seeds, fruit, or flowers. All non-vascular plants reproduce via spores, and they require water for fertilization. There are only three types of non-vascular plants, and they include the liverworts, mosses, and hornworts. Vascular plants Other than liverworts, mosses, and hornworts, every other plant type are vascular. Vascular plants are referred to as higher plants. They are the largest group in the plant kingdom and they are more advanced than non-vascular plants. Vascular plants contain a well-developed vascular system made up of two types of tissues. These tissues act like veins or pipes throughout the body of the plant. These tissues are called xylem and phloem. Xylem is used for water and mineral conduction. Xylem carries water and dissolved minerals upward from the roots to the shoots. Phloem is used for food conduction. Phloem carries sugars made from photosynthesis downward to the roots and other parts of the plant. Xylem and phloem provide structural support for the plant, and it allows water, minerals, and sugars to be transported over greater distances to all parts of the plant, therefore, they can grow to be very large and complex in form. In addition to xylem and phloem, all vascular plants have true roots, leaves, and stems, but some vascular plants can lack one or more of these structures. Vascular plants are diverse in size and growth forms. They can range in size from tiny, small plants to large, extremely tall plants, and they can be herbaceous or woody. Some vascular plants, such as ferns, reproduce by spores, and they require water for fertilization. The other vascular plants reproduce by seeds and they do not require water for fertilization. Some of the seeds are naked. And some of the seeds are enclosed within a fruit. Some vascular plants are flowerless. And some have flowers. All these features and characteristics creates opportunities for vascular plants to grow in many different types of habitats and conditions. This concludes the video. 
For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.